Hello, everybody. Welcome along uh, to this FS black and white winners announcements, trumpets, explosions, etc. Tim, how are you doing? Not too bad. Good, good. Yeah, really excited about this. It's been, um, yeah, I was amazed. It was just amazing kind of response to it as well. So it's been, yeah, really good. Yeah, I mean, firstly, huge thanks, right, to everyone. I think we in, yeah. the, end, in the end there was what seven hundred odd images. Oh yeah, yeah, over, over seven hundred images we had to go through and pick. So um, we've we've each picked um, three each, haven't we? So we've um, it's been yeah. a, it's been a big task, shall we say? It has, and I mean, you know, it. I think I just we both wanted to say that. Um, well, a thanks very much for everyone kind of taking part, and I, what was really cool for me. I'm trying to get a bit more back involved on Twitter. And um, it was really cool. I saw loads of great images and lots of positive comments about how sharing the images had kind of livened up people's feeds with photography. Hey, who knew it? Uh, and without all the accoutrements around it. So that's cool. Um, but we both, you know, really, I think, wanted to point out that we, we took quite a lot of time between us picking our favorite three. That's how we did. Mm. We did three each. And I, I have been in these situations before and I've been entering images. And I just want you all to know we took time over everyone's image. We thought about them. We looked at them. And it's impossible, right? They're just solid, <laughs> solid entries all the way around. Um, what you said, it's hard, wasn't it, Tim? It's just oh, a case it of was what just, It was amazing. Yeah, the, the quality and the, the standard and just, oh, it's just unbelievable i just i wish i could take pictures like it i kind of, <laughs> I just said wow yeah they're fabulous yeah. um and it's just so such think, a shape we kind of judged it and but yeah it's it's been amazing yeah we had to pick three each that that's the that was the thing but as we've said we picked three each we were going to start by just picking three winners overall but there are six six people who we've who we've picked out instead of the original three because there were so many entries and uh, it's impossible to pick. And to be honest, if you put me in front of those images tomorrow, I, I might pick a different three, and Tim might. And if you put another photographer in, they pick a different three. And that's just mm -hmm. how it is, all right? You know, you all know how it works. So if you don't win, don't worry. It doesn't mean we don't like your images. It doesn't mean they're not good. Uh, they were all pretty much awesome, to be honest. So uh, if you have any comments as we go, though, let us know. Tim and I are going to walk through the images. Um, um, just a very brief thing about kind of why we picked them. Um, or just complimentary things, whatever it might be. And then Tim's going to explain about how he printed them, why he printed them on certain papers. And then we're going to obviously post all the uh, all the uh, hashtags, all the ads of the people on, on Twitter as well. And uh, do keep up with the Twitter account for all the latest on that. I think that's the, the admin, Tim, isn't it? Should we get into it? I think so, yeah. So let's start with, I'm going to do mine first. We decided that before. Cool. So let's reveal the first first winner shall we say and we should also say that for winning this competition you receive a um a free print from photo speed printed by myself um so i will be messaging everyone as well um after this just to say congratulations and please send me your high res file as well so we can um proper do a really good job and print it properly for you okay nice. so without further ado okay drum roll here we are. Right, this was my first choice. Now, this was from... Now, I really apologise if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly. Um, so, um, it's Z Zose's uh, Cassel. Now, I, I apologise. I, I promise I won't say it again. <laughs> but this image is absolutely fantastic. It just kind of really... Just stood out for me. Um, reason bit, I loved just the smoothness of the. I don't know if it's water, if it's something. If it, it's kind of, if it's real, if it's not, it's kind of. It doesn't really matter to me. It's kind of it gives this just ethereal kind of floating kind of feel to to the picture as well, which is fantastic. And I just loved the old gramophone as well. I quite, as you'll see, probably by my choice, I'm quite. Um, old-fashioned in my kind of what I like and thing and this was just just really stood out to me it was just absolutely fantastic and um, really nice I love the square as well so that kind of really I think that'd make a great me. print wouldn't it in a lovely mm. room with leather sofas and wood surround and then a beautiful big oh, black and white yeah. version of that would be awesome yeah oh definitely like 24 by 24 version of it or something would be just wow yeah 
really nice chunky cool. frame as well. All right. Okay. So that was my first choice. Now, my second choice was by uh, Verity Milligan. <laughs> and yeah, I just, I just love this. It kind of, for me, it kind of linked back to kind of where I started in documentary photography and cutting the breasts on and those kind of feels as well. And it, I really love just the, the running of the of the child here as well and the shadow reflected it reminded me of that cartier brush on the famous picture of the leaping over the puddle um as well and i just love the sun coming over the building as well and the, the silhouette and the smoke it just kind of so uh, asthma uh, amos, atmospheric hopefully not <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's timeless it's, isn't it it's one, got a real timeless yeah, quality definitely yeah it just yeah just was cracking nice. now my last choice was by tony dudley and i picked this because i just it just really stood out to me and i, I think i'm a surrealist at heart and i think this just kind of really kind of linked to that idea in my head of, of surrealist kind of nature and thing and these, these pair of legs sticking out a bathtub without anything else going on there as well um really think and it also linked back to the the um kind of the photography of the 60s as well, like the early Baileys and Duffy and, and John Swinnell, should we say, one of our photographers as well, kind of the work they were producing. Uh, I just really loved it, and it just was that kind of old, kind of quite sentimental to me, I think, a kind of link back as well. And I also loved this black in here, the bathtub as well, which I will, because I've actually have actually done a print, a few, a few of these as well, so we'll talk about those paper choices in a bit and why that was there. But yeah, that that was my three. So um, yeah, nice, a my solid choice. three, a solid choice. Yeah, uh, I, I like this one as well, actually. And I think the legs of the bathtub, uh, the bottom feet of the bathtub, really work nicely with the legs coming out. Of mm. It's a kind of cool. Those feet of the tub really work. But yeah, it's a, it's one of those curious images, isn't it? That makes you look at it and kind of it's a bit mm. bizarro, which is quite cool. Yeah, so. a bit Dali esque. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nice. Okay, well that's the first three, and you know yes. what? There's three more. Boom. <laughs> Fantastic. Shall I, um, you ready, Sam? Yeah. yeah, go for it. And then we'll talk about the paper and why certain images might suit them. So I, yeah. uh, my, my three are not in any particular order, by the way. They're just, they were just the yeah. three. Uh, and it took some finessing. I'm going to tell you, that was my evening yesterday, everyone. I spent hours on this. Um, <laughs> so so this one is uh, Steve Palmer, I believe. Uh, well done, yep. Steve. Um, just really beautiful delicate i love the textures i love the composition i love the light uh, i can see this on the on the particular types of paper and i'm really intrigued as to what tim wants <laughs> to put it on uh, but this this balance of, of the light and the shade all around the frame uh super really lovely image it's it's somewhere and it's nowhere it's atmosphere it's i want to be there i can feel it it's all the things that a great landscape shot for me uh, sort of in a landscape mm. shot should be about is just that atmos and um so really beautiful steve great job on that well done you there's so much texture isn't there in the, the right hand side of the picture as, as well as kind of just to balance it works really well yeah and just great use of light and space and um interaction between elements and tones and everything else so that's going to be great printed i really have Ooh. went for things in a way that i thought would just make fantastic prints as well as, as much as mastery of composition or light or anything like that just stuff that really jumped out at me and that's the only thing you can do when you're faced with so many images um so yeah that's steve uh next up i believe we have yeah this craig? is craig wishart that's right isn't it yeah and uh, you know what there's lots of uh well i say lots there's a good number of kind of macro smaller image uh smaller detail images and so many beautiful uh flowers and fauna and all sorts of um close up some wonderful pet imagery as well as animal imagery as well i was tempted to just kind of step out my zone a little bit but this one just really struck me because of um and you guys will might be difficult to see on the screen but if you check out craig's twitter and find the actual image and just look at it such really really selective point of focus on these little seed heads and just he's dealt with it so beautifully and again texture 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 and the, and the soft dark tones behind as well for me it was just a really simple clean beautifully executed image which again on a wall on a print 
you could look at time and time again and could accompany any sort of room and any sort of space um and and you know you could have a minute or two looking at it and enjoying it so nice job on that craig yeah lovely yeah really nice and then okay. my final one uh, I, elegance personified here this is jude g i believe in the name uh gradations we have for that and i tell you why it sort of le leapt out at me it, because of kind of the toning and that that huge amounts of sort of negative space and white space uh compared to the you know some of the darker heavier images of which there were a lot uh, and everything in between but just for me beautifully balanced beautifully focused beautifully shaped again i just think it'll make a fab print um mm. and it would look very elegant in a modern or a contemporary sort of space as well and uh obviously we've got these these kind of buds and leaves and the curves and all these beautiful things that i i would enjoy in any image so nice job there as well jude but again i would stress this was really tricky there were just so many great images we could have done yeah. hundreds to be honest i mean we could just pick yeah all of them to be honest yeah <laughs> and, we, you know, we weren't easy. allowed to do that <laughs> no and it's easy just to say I, I genuinely i'm super super impressed with the quality of what everyone's doing out there and keep up the good work you know and keep embracing the mm. black and white i'm a huge black and white fan, fan so does tim yeah um and they're really really interesting and intriguing images in there as well so yeah nice um tim do you want to yeah. just uh, have a chat about some of the paper choices yeah. that you you've well, thought let's about? Start, um, well, let's start with yours to start with, um, because I've actually uh, printed um, these pictures. So, I um, off off the Twitter and things. How we how we pick them is we kind of download the files and kind of they're quite quite small res though. So we have to be a little bit careful with what we can print and things, um, but. You actually get some pretty decent prints out of them here. So I'll start with uh, Steve's, Steve. Steve's print here. Now, I printed this on a platinum etching. What were you thinking, Sam? Were you... Yeah, uh, platinum etching definitely would be would be perfect, actually. Yeah, mm. B because it was it's just not that mix, doesn't it, of, of texture? Yeah, but... yeah. It's it's not. It was just a slight texture. If I bring up the big picture again here, um, it was just for the, the kind of the texture within within the um, like mist and things going on in the uh, right hand side here. It was just it just looked really really nice on that paper and really kind of set the I paper think, set it all off. I think that's a brilliant choice, and I think definitely matte and definitely uh not smooth and definitely not too textured therefore platinum etching mm. <laughs> perfect yeah. i reckon yeah nice yeah now over to craig's picture i actually printed this on the brighter yeah cool yeah nice. the reason why i went for the brighter and not my my favorite usually which is the platinum gloss art fiber is i wanted it a little bit smoother and the platinum gloss art fiber does have a little bit of texture in there and i think because it's so sharp and this black is so kind of silky smooth i did i, did, I just wanted to hold that and i think the brighter because it's completely smooth and lovely it, it will just really make the image pop and it, it did to be honest um, yeah we need really to, we need to stop spending so much time together tim because that's exactly what i've written <laughs> on my thing is brighter I'll have for, the, for the same reason though because i knew the blacks would be great and also the detail in this is really super small and the layering on the brighter is mm. very um very repetitive if you see i mean there's not areas yeah. of texture and it's just it will just make those clean details really pop so no that's that's a wicked choice yeah. as well the third one, um, I'm not sure about those. <laughs> and for Jude, I went for an NST bright white on this yeah. one. Yeah. Um, nice. Really nice matte paper. Smooth, but just just a tiniest little bit of texture in there. It's not super smooth, is it? So no. that worked really well. And also because it really sets off the background because on the actual print here, um, it looks pretty white. But when I against the nst bright white i don't know if you can actually see on the picture there's a ball i put a bit of a board around it and it just it just set off the the stems and the flowers a little bit more by using the white of the border pure white of the border mm. that ultra white shall we say 
against kind of just a very slight off white and it just kind of set everything off really nicely um cool worked really well so yeah good choices That's kind of what i've picked for those now for my choices let's start with verities here now for verities i went with my favorite i suppose the end of the um platinum gloss art fiber um for me it reminds me of that old dark room fiber base paper as i've said in many videos before um so it really kind of just lent itself to this really well and that kind of old kind of um documentary feel of the old dark cream prints of um like bresson and eugene smith and people like that as well just really suited it really well and also the black as well we wanted a paper that was really gonna at zen uh, kind of make this black really deep and stand out for us which is what mm. what it did for me nice. okay now for this print here now i picked a uh, smooth cotton for this now the reason being is because this the 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 background should we say is so silky smooth and i just i didn't want any texture getting involved in that almost the same as um with the, with the Barata print in, in your selection with um mm, craigs with, with craigs yeah it was the same kind of reasons almost but i went for a matte paper with this um just because it was it just lent itself to that matte paper there wasn't kind of what didn't really need i think it almost needed subduing a little bit shall we say in, in a really good way i don't mean that kind of needed bringing down it, it still had punch to it within the details of the, the gramophone and things in here mm. and my last choice which was tony's see i went for the brighter again on this one mm. and the reason being was this black bathtub that i spoke about a little bit a little bit earlier and it was about this silky smooth black in here and getting that really punch just to kind of set the legs off against that as well nice so, yeah that was um yeah sensible yeah, choices i reckon <laughs> <laughs> he knows what he's doing everyone <laughs> yeah so there we are so, <laughs> so tim just to clarify we uh you guys will be in touch with the winners yes and they give you the high yep. res files and then we'll do the yep. you'll do a really really wicked print from those so this was just yeah. to get the feel for, for what they were going to be best suited to uh, yes. and what papers would work out. And yeah. I think it's worth pointing out, obviously, Vote Speed, we're having a bit of a black and white focus at the moment. And there's loads of videos that we're putting up on the YouTube channel about black and white printing, how to print with black and white, different papers, different printers, profile mode versus black and white mode <laughs> on your printer. We, we do get subscribed to the YouTube because there's loads of stuff and I'm working on bits at my end. Tim's doing bits. We've got other photographers doing bits and there's more and more coming. So do get on the YouTube thing with Photo Speed. We, we're 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 going to kill it on there, everybody. <laughs> um, but hopefully you've enjoyed seeing those winners uh, and talking about the prints. Um, and Tim, I know you know we don't have a necessarily plan to repeat the FS Black and White per se. It's not going to be an ongoing thing, but we may revisit it. We may yeah, uh, do yeah. it in a slightly different format because we were really blown away, weren't we, by the by yeah, the, uh, by the take up. And also don't forget that all the um, entries are in a, a Flickr gallery on our um, photo speed Flickr page. Um, I think there's a link to it on, um, it has gone out on Twitter, uh, links and things to it. So yeah, good. Cool. Congrats. Yeah, so stay tuned with the Twitter, everyone. We're gonna have more and more interactive things like this where we're gonna, where we're gonna pick you out. We're gonna print stuff. We're gonna talk about the printing and uh, keep up uh, the good work with your photography and with your printing, obviously at home. It's the way forward, everyone. Uh, but Tim, uh, there's not any other tech, uh, technical stuff or admin stuff is there today. I think we're pretty much done there. No, I think we've got um, video coming out today, which is the paper choices for black and white, some, some tips and what I look for um, when I'm picking papers. A bit like I've just, just done, but what I kind of look for when I'm picking papers as well. That's gone live, I think, actually. Should have gone out now. Yeah, that's a neat video. There's three big top tips that Tim talks about in that and gives you some examples of different images on, on those different papers. And also we've got some interviews with photographers out recently. We did Mark Littlejohn, Paul Sanders' interview is out as well. And so keep your eye on that. We're going to have more of those coming. But cool, we'll let you enjoy your weekend, everyone. Fingers crossed for the football on Sunday. Yes, Come on, England. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Come on, England. Then we can all have Monday morning off. And uh, 
<laughs> Tim and I will be back in due course with more videos. Thanks for watching. Stay subscribed and we'll speak to you very soon. See you all again. Bye. 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 Bye.